what's up guys this is the broken man and i am back to bring you to the next episode of my empire at all let's play as grand columbia and in this episode now uh, we have taken some territory up here in moose factory uh, and uh we have suffered an interesting um, action against the uh, huron confederacy uh, to the east however we are rebuilding our forces to go try again although i may actually use this force to try and come in from the northwest um but anyway we are getting ready to send troops over to Europe. So right now we are just kind of building on our economic, building our economic foundations up, because we've now got pretty good coverage over um, a lot of the, a lot of the landmass in America. So now let's really start to exploit it and let's upgrade, replenish one artillery team. So we're going to get wealth of nations next. It looks like we're not going to have... Well, when's the modern university going to be built? Two turns. Okay, so spend a turn researching something else. And then we'll be back on with our philosophy text. Cool. Um, well, let's head in turn. So we're going to definitely want to squash your own territory. The interesting thing is where we go afterwards. I'm still pretty set on the idea of going to Iceland and then going to Lisbon, because Lisbon's a very, very good territory to take. It would also give us our uh, forward staging base to protect our trade with Europe. Oh, yeah. Here come the Austrians. Another reason why we need to beef up our navy across the board, really. Blub, 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 blub. Are you going to take it for yourselves? You are. Yeah, we want to uh, build up our navy so we can go and stomp the Austrians. If we can take Lisbon, we could actually bottleneck. We could, we could uh, block up the Strait of Gibraltar and prevent the Austrian navy from actually pushing out at all. So that's quite a good strategic goal, I think. I mean, fighting, declaring war on Britain would be very tempting because they control a lot of territory in the Americas. Um, but I think we do want to just keep focusing on... Russia just fought off Sweden. But I think our, we do have a good... Oh, God. What have we, what have we, why have we got you here? Uh, go have a look at Antigua. See what Mexico's up to. Oh, I've got another one. Um, head down towards Mexico City, I suppose. Trade route raided, so that's impacted our income. We've got Wealth of Nations, don't go on to do Diamond Formation, because that's a bit pants. Get on with Machine Tools. Okay, prioritise roads first. Governor's building as well to increase, increase the tax rate. Lots of good farm upgrades. Upgrading farms is going to be a multi-year process. Let's make sure you're in good shape. Quebec's in good shape. Let's repair the port. Just a second. Apologies. Uh, right, up to Moose Factory. Let's squash this Huron force that's holding our port. Get replenishing, so we can get this region contributing to our economic success. And we're going to build, because you have no roads. You're going to go up to York Factory to see what's going on up there. You men replenish and head towards the border with the Huron. You are waiting on one unit to come from Montreal. Okay, that's our roads upgraded. Let's upgrade this one farm. Get our agent embarked in Boston. Excellent. So you men skip across to Europe. Fleet arrives. So let's let them go first. Battle fleets over here ready to try and protect our trade. So let's use you to check. 
Can't trade there. there. Okay, everywhere's blocked. So let's use you. Go to South America instead. You swines. Portugal, Austria. Okay, let's use our ass kicking fleet. Because you've got some ships, you've got some seconds recruited somewhere else. Okay, gather you guys up at Yorktown. Okay, let's send this fleet. Oh, hey, Spain. How you doing? Let's send you guys out to South America. Just go kick some ass and then come back home. Oh, hey, another Spanish army, eh? Interesting. So we're going to keep an eye on them for darn sure. We're going to research new model bayonet drill with our large university so that we can then get them back on to researching our philosophical technologies. Yeah, we need a we need a really big navy. We need a much bigger navy than we've currently got. But if we can take Iceland, fortify it, expand down and take Lisbon, we'll be quite a long way there. And that's when Spain will try and attack us, and that's when we may jump on Madrid ourselves. So Spain will be wondering, <laughs> all those troops in the colonies will be wondering, why are we attacking Grand Col Ooh. Will... Ooh. That turns, mixes things up. Let's see if um, my sword can take Lisbon. But any fights our large navy gets into against smaller navies we will manually fight because we definitely don't want to lose our own ships but any ships we do take I want to send back to um, send back to the homeland so Russia took Finland Sweden have taken it back that's quite a bloody out bloody uh, conflict for them good for us so new model bayonet drill. You're now a modern university, so get on with free trade. Get that ticking away. Just go after Reykjavik. The port is not secured, so we can just run straight in. I mean, that's just going to be a... Just chomp that up. Okay, so it's going to be expensive, but I want to fortify Iceland as a base. Let's move our galleon over to Hoffen. Let's get get some building on the go, so this region can start to contribute to its defence. Upper Canada's got good roads. Do you have to stay in Montreal? No, you can hold here. Push towards the enemy, but don't go after them. We've only got 2,000. Let's just get a third rate being recruited. And you are eventually... Well, let's take everyone except the militia out. They can act as a garrison. Actually, no, you're okay there. We can, if we need to deploy you, we can deploy you from the port easily enough. Stay close to the edge. We still need to replenish over here, you guys. We need to do some building over here as well. Good force have been built. Let's bring. Stay off the coast of Louisbourg because you need to start building. We need to start building um, trade fleets. 
upgrade fleets and second tier fleets that aren't our main battle forces. I need to check the my um, agents. See if there's not there isn't a better better uh, way we can use them. Ah, oh, it's about. I was gonna say if we don't clamp down on Austrian access to the wider world, they are eventually gonna send send an army after us, and it appears they are going to do so. But let's see if that becomes a big deal or not. They may end up deploying them somewhere else, as far as we're concerned, because they are fighting a war against Russia, remember? Finland's still a myriad of dirt roads. Doesn't look like, it doesn't look like anybody in the world is as upgraded as we are. 43,000, because they aren't raiding us, we can actually do some good. Okay, let's make sure we take full advantage of this. Upgrade, upgrade. Upgrade the roads. You don't need to stay out there at Santa Fe. Let's bring you back to... Florida. More exports. Yeah, it's the farms that are going to suck most of the money up. That's the problem. Two firsts and another third rate. Well, actually, let's keep. We need to keep. But we need to maintain some amount of balance. So you're going to be focusing on trying to ambush... No, that's the Admiral's flagship. You're going to try to focus on jumping individual fleets, individual um, Austrian fleets. You haven't fully replenished. Shouldn't take too much. Okay, let's raid your way towards the enemy. You can get to the high ground, because we got ambushed somewhere around here, so let's keep an eye on that. So here's our trade fleet, and here's our battle fleet. Let's find someone to stomp on. Fifth and sixth. My key target is Austria. Looks like that's the best one. Although that's not being used at all. So let's go up to here. Okay, let's stomp on this Austrian ship. We're only going to fight it manually so we can bring it into our service, ship it back to America, get it fixed up, get it sent back out. Get my first raids up front, just because they they can take the most damage. So we are oh, okay. Let's do this properly. They are less likely to take a lot of damage, although their ship looks completely knackered. It's not going to be never going to be ideal based on that weather gauge. Yeah, I'm going to drop the recording here and bring you guys back when we're ready to rock and roll. So see you in a second, everyone. And we are off. Let's get America, America my heavy first, ready to reload with chain. They fired the first broadside, so by the time the second's ready to rock and roll, they're going to definitely be within range. Make sure you're at full sail. 
quickly, then I'll maneuver you too well. Beautiful red decked heavy first rate. I fired at Gallardo. No, help me fight at Red Hero. reloading. It's going to be a bit of a slow one because these guys are not uh, dog fighters so to speak. These are killers. Get your ships going again. Oh they're wavering. Blast him. Main must kill the Admiral. Then round shot only. We go in for the kill. Nice, nice, nice. Si, sí, señor. Sí, so it's tempting to go after this one. But we want to build up our trade, our trade, trade fleets first. Because right now we've not got, I mean, I, I want to build up fleets using galleons, really. So let's get one recruiting. Thirds, you can go with the fleet here at Yorktown. Excellent. Okay, punch card loom will be done in one turn. We've done the fleet arrive stuff. Ah, oh, you need you need better roads. But still, let's hit N10. Where's my agent? Oh, I haven't done the um religious agents. Dang it. Let's see where that Austrian fleet goes with an embarked army. Oh, yeah, it's coming to get us, that's for sure. We'll deal with wherever it lands. We've got plenty of forces. It's not going to um, knock us off balance. Especially if they're not raiding us and more ports are open to trade. We may be on to another 40,000 income. Ah, oh, see, Sweet has to ruin it. 30,000? 30 34. There we go, is the knackered fourth rate. Is she going to Leogan? Leogan, eh? Leogan. You can be an admiral of a trade fleet, then repair. That was you. War declared between Russia. Ah, oh, poor old Poland. We'll deal with you soon, my good man. Build better roads. Let's recruit. Um, get a fifth rate on the go. Okay, this agent. Quebec is 100% Catholic, as is Montreal, as is Rupert's Factory, as is Huron Territory for some reason. So you, my friend, are going to go up to Fort Nashwack to begin converting the remaining Protestant population. 23,000. Okay, let's make sure we are. Okay, so you're getting some 
this. Something like that. Ports are fine. I think I might just have to sink some into getting some of these farms upgraded because I, I hate seeing you know, indicators I have to build things. I like completing them. Okay, let's push forward a little bit and around. And wave it there. You may go to this part of high ground, but no further. I really don't want to get ambushed the same way as last time. Upgrade the great estates here. We'll get you over to Boston to prevent them from rapidly landing and attacking us. Britain generating large standing armies in the Caribbean. Oh well. Doesn't matter for us. Let's hit in turn. It looks like Spain wants to send another... Oh, God, where are you going to be, Austria? Where are you going to show up? Where are they going to land? Cuba? Oh, you fools! They didn't land! Well, as far as I can see, they didn't land. Sometimes the AI shows them landing um, before they... They do land, I just can't see them. I just haven't, haven't seen them do it. it. Looks like the Marathas have taken Lisbon. So there goes our plan to do that. But that's really cool, because the AI doesn't normally... And I don't normally see the AI do things like that. 34,000. So did they land? No, they didn't. Actually didn't. And that's a nice little selection of ships to gobble up. Upgrade, upgrade. Flota lista. Okay, so yeah, you're going to be a admiral. A, a admiral. I mean, it's very much overkill, but bring my bring my big stonk and fleet down here to wipe them out. Kill a, a large number of Austrians in the process. Yet we will capture these ships and employ them for our ends. Send them into overseas trade regions, and we'll just we're just starting the uh, the routine now. Heavy first, first rate, first rate, then our seconds following up by thirds. Close distance. Bring it just fourth, fifth, fourth, fourth. They should be mightily concerned. We are close to home. Any damage we take can be dealt with. Your damage, however, will be permanent. So we all have to sail at this, the speed of our slowest member, which is that heavy first rate up front. But even so, they still have to get within range, and even though they may be able to get their first shots off um, in a more advantageous position for them, they will not be able to survive near us, no sir. You want to be chain shot first, because by the time you get into position, they're going to be very close to you on both 
port and starboard. Actually, you might get your first shot off against this boat, whose name I do not want to say. Sorry, fella, you're gonna have to wait. Bad times for you, I'm afraid. You haven't fired all your guns, eh? And the full mast of grief, 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 grief behind them. Okay, just take the back section of ships and just scoot them along like so. Act as a second rank. Who you go for? If you're not the last mast off this four trait, that'll still be a win. Shot away this one. And there goes the last mast. On. Poor old grief. Good grief. Let's blast him with a round shot for the remainder. So beautiful. You can shoot into our stern if you like. I don't give a damn. Fire chain into Anger. Inja. The Admiral, too. You're routing. Good effort to try and route, though. Reload against De Flinger. to felchin <laughs> to attack oh, I've said it Ooh. actually no do this turn the opposite direction actually just go after him use your chase guns fellow will be dealt with in due course. And you know what? Just fire it. Get it out of the way. Shots in the back of my heavy first. Good idea. Slam the ship around. Handbrake turn. Fire as she bears. San Isidoro. Pursuer. You're on 
fire, but let's let you fire this last shot before we turn you fire all off. Put out that fire, get out of there. Put that fire out. Before it spreads to the magazine. Oh no. Now we're getting it under control. Austrian devil, what it means. There we go. Get you away. Maybe first is badly on fire. first alone. There we go. I'm not sure why you're guttering. Excellent. Now you're no longer on fire. on the pain Gran Alejandro is taking a pounding Not as much as you're gonna take now matey boy are oh, you on fire again routing not escaping there we go good and with them goes an entire austrian invasion force bring them all into our service sí, mi señor. Sí, capitán. Ordena, capitán. put in port here listo. for repairs back to yorktown for repairs Excellent. Okay, we will push on the native people soon. I just want to get some farms upgraded. Because even though farms aren't the most... Let's get you upgraded as well. Even though farms aren't the most interesting things to upgrade, especially now we've got a good economic base, I mean, it'll help... But it's not critical, critical. Yeah, great theatre there, just to keep the native populations a bit happier. Okay, so if you jump on, jump on them. They are still here then. Their um, their ambush forces are still here. Although I am tempted to. Siege them and just force them to come out and get me. I'm going to move you over east. Over to the west, rather. And come in from the same direction. Yep, let's put them... Let's squeeze them a bit with a uh, with some sieging. 8,800. Okay, let's... Okay, I think you're probably 
We can base you out of Iceland. Let's create some slightly beefier squadrons. Because those are aspirationally, that's a trade, that's a possible trade fleet right there. Could do with more galleons to kind of ram that fact home. Okay, everything looks okay. My spies continue to move forward. It'd be interesting to see how well the established players in Europe uh, take to the idea of a permanent Indian presence on the European continent. Will that spur, spur any counter movements? But I think what it does do is it potentially opens up the route to invading Britain again as our next most viable option because they can we can take york factory aglic took plaisance the bahamas jamaica antigua cayenne so much territory op is opened up if we attack britain and then obviously in europe the british isles copenhagen gibraltar tangier i mean britain's got a lot of options but i think I mean, they're allied with Austria, which we're already at war with. They're allied with Mexico, which is a problem. Prussia, which is a problem. The Marathas, which is a problem. We could lose a lot of trade income by attacking them. So we may end up having to look at something else. Okay, let's... So we're currently allied with Britain. Let's raid, let's, let's raid some of the trade zones next to a British fleet. So that's getting us some extra income. Okay, Cayuga. Okay, Cobbled Roads. Get the Metal Roads done. So we are probably... Ooh! Thanks. we we'll stop recruit... Okay, right. Cancel that. Recruit as many units of pikemen as you can get. I love pikemen. Okay, another... Galleon here. I mean, you're good enough. Set the sloop, send them down to South America. Recruit Principe into a Admiral. Upgrade the farms here. So that's San Juan. Just keep churning out fourth rates. Keep churning out galleons. You can recruit one more ship. We're going to make it a heavy first. Just give them extra firepower. 2,000. Pretty sure all of the towns that we can upgrade are upgraded anyway. For you, apparently. Yeah, when we get steam engine, that's going to add a large demand on our economy. Start to exploit all of that income, but I think it's 100% worth doing. It's a good problem to have, you know. Oh, we're making so much money. Ah, oh. although we may want to start going down the the um, artillery track to get quick lime shells. Maybe two on industries a bit much. Let's go down. Let's, let's start to crack on. Carcass shots are good poor man's um, 
good poor man's quick climb. But nothing replaces quick climb. I mean, I'd like to hope. Yeah, hello. Yeah. They were all. They. This was their last turn. If they didn't attack me, they were going to die. Now we can teach you some misery and pain and humiliation the way you taught it to me. Because that wasn't fun, not for me. <laughs> I mean, it went quite well at the start, and then it well, started badly and showed off in the middle. And the less said about the end, the better. But apart from that, excellent. It went really well. <laughs> Let me in. Let me in. So we've got some reinforcements coming in that we have to be aware of. Not so much to worry about. Just set up a traditional line. Deliciously, because we've been trenched. We do a nice bit of extra cover. Not that it's super necessary, because this is trenches and it's mostly to do with return fire. But against a Native American force, you don't have to worry about that so much. Keep my horse artillery back here. I mean, let's deploy these guys on the. In, as a bit of a, a bit of a defensive position, just in case we get screwed over. Cavalry hold in the centre with the general. So they're going to be safe from artillery fire for a while because of the terrain, the lie of the land. Hello, the people back here. <laughs> there we go, now they've exposed themselves. Grenadiers are probably better off here. Right, as soon as you start to go within range, you're going to get smacked by canister shot. Horse artillery, keep plinking at the general's bodyguard. But the bowmen are out here somewhere. Bring my dragoons out. Yeah, there they are. Chase them off. I have to charge down my own guys, but I've got to. Sorry, light infantry. I didn't lose too many of my own cavalry in that. Chase them down. Yeah, let's get my other cavalry involved.
I mean, one has to wonder if that's where the reinforcements are coming in from, or going to come in from. See, look, they run away, and as soon as we change direction, they decide, actually, that's a great direction. In which case, let's bring our... Uh, wing back. Limber up the artillery. this big block of enemy bowmen. There you go, broken, shattered. Shattered, shattered, engage. Good, that's the end of you. What's the general's bodyguard? Yeah. Well, he's being engaged. Oh, whoops. One of my gun teams tried to crawl over a barricade and got destroyed. Fair enough. There they are. I'm sure you guys are okay. Something like that. Because here comes the enemy. Oh, hello. General's bodyguard, get over here. Get the musketman, General. Everyone else, just form a giant line. Don't die, General. For the love of God, don't die. You're a really good General. Excellent. Push up. Okay, let's not push too many men up on that flank. I mean, there are only bowmen, but still. Stretch the line out. A bit risky because they're still coming, but whatevs. Get 
advance into the into the merc. That's where the bowmen are. There they are. A few men elect to break. Perfect. No, oh, hold on. Now swing in. Let's just focus fire these Native American warriors. Right idea, they're trying to work around the flank. Go get him, General. Retarget the guns. Target the artillery. Thank you. Mow them down, General. Try to get some more experience. As the native troops push in for another attack, I do not think it's going to work in their best interest. Look, shattered. my cavalry in. I mean there are warriors around here so that's a bit dicey but bring up the grenadiers. Frontiersmen fall back. The cavalry can break. The bowmen then push on into the next blob. I think those that's the only blob of infantry they've got left. Infantry are trying to hold. Grenadiers commit. Oh, it's a ceasefire. Yes. Cavalry push forward. There's another unit in there somewhere. enough. Ban in charge. Right, that's the end of them. Valiant effort in the last part. You're on, I'm afraid. Now we're fighting on my terms now, not yours. Excellent, that's 410 men. That's the uh, the force that ambushed us, they even pushed back, but they only had one turn left. So their faction has is dissolved. Oh yeah, Portugal's gone as well, because Lisbon took out. Lisbon has been taken out by uh, the Marathas. I mean, we might have to try to take off, an, take off a, a bite from Sweden. 48,000. There you go. Destroy. Destroy the meeting hall. Upgrade the fur exchange. Upgrade the roads. Build the mine. Destroy the meeting hall. The new men go back up to Moose Factory because they think attacking Britain's probably going to be the way to go. I mean, the Plains Nations peoples, who are they in an alliance with? Protector of Naples and Sicily. We also have France, Spain, <laughs> Genoa. Okay, let's maybe not go after them just yet. Excellent. He men take that spot. 
I mean, I don't think we can safely auto that. Dominamos las olas. Eso es tierra. Hold the region. Good. Okay, great states. Again, we just want to keep on building up our economy because we are going to be losing trade relationship relationships regardless of which way we try and play this. So our own economic development is going to be really important. Yeah, we're not going to upgrade this. Not until I've got all my all my pikemen recruited. Thank you. Yeah, I think Britain's going to have to be the way to do it. Make sure we do have our all of our military institutions are at max level. So let's let's beef up some of these these uh, colonial armies. You need a general. Really, what they want is cavalry. Something like that. They need more cavalry. So one army can deal with Cayenne. These guys club together can probably deal with Antigua. Maybe Port Royal. I mean, we'll just blockade them and prevent them from pushing out. Britain's gonna be it's gonna be a uh, challenging expansion route, but required, I think. Okay, start the recruitment of another navy directly on the heels of that. Here, on have been destroyed, which is lovely. Yeah, I think Britain has to go. I mean, we could potentially use this this army up here to invade Ireland just to put put the enemy at, we'll put them at threat right off the bat. The defining factor will be how the rest of the alliances take it. How will Prussia take it? How will Mexico take it? So what we don't want is for the enemy to be joined by lots of other factions. Especially when you've got Austria still raiding our territories, raiding our trade lanes. But yeah, I do think Britain is the next logical target. Anything else is just kicking it kicking the can down the road. We could take out Spain, but I want to move on via Lisbon, not taking taking Madrid itself puts me. I mean, I've got a front line with the Marathas, Britain, and Prussia, which would, which may be who I'm going to be at war with down the line anyway. Russia's take Russia's taken Finland back. Twenty thousand something, forty-five thousand still on income. Fifth rate in a galleon. New nation arises. Mysore. Hello, Mysore. 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 Let us trade. Trade, and I'll give you new model bayonet drill. How about that? I will need other sources of income. This is why now Britain is allied with our enemy. Austria. Austrian devils. Time has come for them to choose a side. Okay, 
let's do get a magistrate, get a coaching in, and get a craft workshop just because this area is to do with a bit of a happiness boost. Make sure all of our roads are built or upgraded at the very least. Oh, you, Martinique doesn't even have dirt roads. That's embarrassing. Looks like everything to me. So we've got access to Curacier and heavy cavalry. But we need reorganised procurement to get the army board to get us access. Actually, do what kind of infantry do we get? Down the line, Cazador, Fusilier, okay, line infantry guards, Grenadier guards, Republican guard, Irish brigade, okay, cool, cool, cool. Because what's your force composition like? Pretty good. I like that as a mix. How goes, oh, your conversion's gone really well. Get on to Falmouth. Have they got any Protestant? Yes, they do. One turn, though. We'll deal with that. And I'll be on to Boston. They're about to rebuild. They're about to develop Providence. So this is what I want to start doing, is just start rotating fleets out. Because I've got a fleet in South America. They're a bit beaten up. I mean, a bit being that. But let's just replace them with a fresh army on station. And we could do with sending them out a trade fleet to replace them on the node. There we go. Eight, two, four, three, it's over here. And we could build we could build a lot more galleons than that if we wanted, which we do. Excellent. I mean I should just build you up to a naval hospital, that will be fine. We don't need large amounts of heavy ships just yet. So you starting with a Admiral's flagship first rate, build a heavy first rate just to supplement the construction. Um, but then let's go over to Europe, pick up my raiding fleet, and let's go after this Austrian. These Austrian ships, a galleon and a fifth rate. They will join the fleet nicely. But looking at the timer, I believe it's time to end the episode. So, thanks for watching guys, hope you've enjoyed, and we'll see you next time for some more fleet-on-fleet -fleet action. Cheers everyone.